How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Nope, no nostalgia quest this week. But uh this week we are going to be looking at Anim's new house guard. So I initially wanted to cover this uh during the week's release video, but the release video was already almost half an hour long, so I didn't want to stretch it out anymore. There's quite a lot of stuff to go through. Okay, so once again Anim has a new house guard. If you have a house, you can go ahead and visit him. His ID is 19336901. You can go ahead and find the ID in the description below as well. So let's go ahead and see what we're up against this time. He does have have new house guards from time to time to test out new mechanics and stuff that's being added to the game so right pretty excited i've already seen it uh so this is actually not my first time okay i've seen it on brady simmons uh channel already and i am honestly quite excited but now let me give you guys my thoughts so we have the sir stilvo dragon all right so uh, the bronze dragons are the guardians of a fabled horde of riches so large that whoever possessed it would be so wealthy even kings would be paupers in comparison this bronze dragon is particularly stylish and in test okay so you can see here resistances it is weak to fire and water okay uh also weak to wind and darkness at 140 120 uh ice has 75 percent resist and you don't want to hit it with earth energy or light which is at minus 100 and minus 50 so uh it's going to heal him the 50 percent extra goal bonus is still happening now so the goal amount that you're seeing here is actually double of what it should be so by right it should be about 900 million instead we're getting about one uh one point no it should be about nine hundred thousand so instead here we are getting about 1.8 million gold which is pretty nice mrm is 83 and you can see here i'm going to bring your attention to the bottom of the screen this is the new stuff that i'm talking about you click on this okay let me just hide the menu uh you can click on it to show your weapon please no no click item functionality available on this preview currently so right now we have different previews of the weapon and yeah uh, you can't click on it to change the forms. Uh, I do hope that they'll add this in the future. But I think this whole like uh, setup underneath here is meant to give you guys like a closer or like a better look of the items that you have equipped. Because some, uh, how do you put it? Some armors, when you equip like miscellaneous items, your weapons or your shields, they are hidden. Okay, due to the uh, nature of the armor's artwork. So you can click on this to, you know, get a nicer look at your equipment. So I do quite like that. Okay, and then we have something for the shield as well okay and last but not least i believe this is the oh okay so just weapon and shield no miscellaneous item i think it'll be better if they add miscellaneous items here maybe they can add one more box because sometimes some armors instead of having it up here you have it all the way down here and it's pretty small and pretty hard to see so yeah i like that as well okay here this is the real interesting part and the part that i'm excited about so here you can see the non-standard elemental modifiers you have your void resistance at 200 percent which is pretty standard for most monsters in the game harm resist at 150 percent and element and s element x 200 percent snuggles 200 percent okay so this is just element specific to this monster in particular because it is a test monster after all. so i like that they added this here okay because normally you wouldn't be able to see these two resistances on the uh, monster info screen and then on top of that you have monster abilities has the ability to inflict bleed on attack has a deadlier second phase oh nice so it tells you uh what the monster roughly does deadlier second phase interesting and then we have the text here okay because i am using the nivp launcher you can already see the text here but normally you will not be able to see the text here if you're running the game in the Arctic official launcher so it's nice that they finally added an official way of you know uh, letting us see the monster text i think this is a great and a fantastic change and i hope that they implement this to the game soon so you get dragon a uh, power tree not sure what a power level is supposed to mean maybe it's supposed to mean the difficulty of the monster okay the lucky tech boss tech bleed scaly and nilak tech all right and it's exactly as shown here all right so let's start off the battle we'll try and backlash and nuke it uh ooh. what the harm is 150 percent right did it even do anything i don't know okay let's do what i'm going to do is i'm going to do shadow feeder pendant first okay so nice we got a turn then we can do power gauntlet crush okay vulnerable nice and then we can do let me see uh, mix nuts let's go for damage and then optical we want to turn this on and let's see water okay speak against water darkness also so this setup will work let me go ahead and do teleport booth boom boom 
Very nice. Okay, your lone side scouts weak points for a pet. Okay, that's uh the miscellaneous item acting. Oh no, all miss. Okay, one hit. Dang. That's fine. Alright, so backlash isn't doing as much at damage as I thought it would, but that's fine. Okay, inflict one. Oh, okay, that wasn't that good. Oh, nice. Now we got three of them, okay. Because this is an energy armor, so yeah, we are in a pretty good spot here. wonder if we have enough MP for the gas. Oh no, not enough. Not enough, that is bad. Shouldn't I have casted the spell? Okay, so deadlier second phase just means he gets to attack three times rather than one time. Right. Power regen. More backlash damage. So yeah, I'm quite liking this setup. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, nice. We got a nice fat heals over there. We can do our power gauntlet again. Oh, he endured. Damn it. Okay, let's do Shadow Feeder. Right, we got the Shadow Feeder. Mix Nuts again. Damage. And then we can do Optical. So first things first, I want to do Teleport Booth. And then we can chug a, health, uh, chug a Mana Potion. Oh, we got the Bleed Status on us as well. Interesting. I did not notice that Bleed Status. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be a big deal. Ooh, nice fat heals there. Awesome. I think we can just finish him off now. Alright, so very nukeable monster, no damage caps. I quite like these uh kind of monsters because normally like a lot of boss monsters that we get nowadays is just damage cap, damage cap, damage cap. It's so boring and the fact that you can't nuke it, yeah, I don't like that. I'd much rather they have like a monster with like a fat HP bar like this stable dragon here with like 19k HP and then you know you can just go ham with your crazy damaging skills. I think that's much better than you know, uh, always implementing the damage cap mechanic. Like, it gets boring. It's stale, you know. Uh, let us nuke. You know, people like seeing big numbers. Let us nuke the boss, man. Just give the boss more health. Alright, and let us have our big numbers. Alright, so easy peasy boss. And yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, I guess. I do like the new mechanics. I hope that they will introduce that soon. The new UI, new features. And of course, the boss. Uh, all in all, I would say is not as interesting as the good old Gilded Goof boss that we previously have. But uh, this is meant to be a test after all. I think the boss is... Yeah, it's not a very challenging boss, but yeah, it's a fun fight. It's a fun fight. And that's going to do it for today's uh, short video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Okay, if you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.